Okay, uh, welcome back. This is EENG460, and um, this is uh, number six, and we are going to look at um, the subtract command. Now, I've already got the file um, edited, so let's just open it up and take a look at it. And uh, maximize the real estate right here. Let's open it all the way down to there. And this introduces the subtract command. All right, so you notice we have our normal stuff, got some comments up there, put whatever you want. There's a comment there, and then this guy right here with that dot, that's called a preprocessor directive. And uh, it uh, defines the data section, data segment section, whatever you want to call it. And then um, we're going to put some stuff in there later, but right now we don't have anything. It's empty. And then after the data segment, or the, uh, the uh, yeah, actually I should call this segment instead of uh, section. So let's change that. Segment. Then uh, I have my text segment. Well, that's where your program goes. Now, I have a um, preprocessor directive called global here that's defining a label that I'm using to identify the beginning of my main program. All right. So now when you look at this code, it's real similar to what we've done before. We used our load immediate to put some values into T1 and T2. All right. I put quad 2 into T1 and quad 1 into T2. Then I use the subtract command. And the way the subtract command is, it takes... Um, uh, let's see, T1 minus T2 and puts it into T3. T1 is the source register, T2 is the target register, and T3 is the destination register. So T1 minus T2 it goes into 3. And I've got a little comment right there. Now when you look at this, that's quad 2 minus quad 1. Well, quad 2 minus quad 1 is going to give you a positive number, and it should be quad 1. Then down here on this block of code, we have um, quad f, and I'm going to load that into t1, and here's 1, I'm going to put that into 2, and then I'm going to take 1 minus 2. So I'm going to do quad f minus 1. Okay, and the result's going to go in 3, subtract command, so it should be f, 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 e in t3. Now down here, I've got the biggest positive number I can have in terms of sine 32-bit, because I've got a 7 here, which is a 0, 1, 1, 1. So uh, the sine bit is not set. This is the biggest positive integer I can have when I'm using sine uh, data, tooth complement. And then I am going to subtract 1 from that and store the result in 3, and that should give me 7 FFF quad, well, not quad F, but FFFE because I'm going to subtract 1. All right, let's go through and run those guys real quick and just verify that they work. All right, so I'll go back to QT spam. I will reinitialize my seminar or simulator, and then I'm going to load test.s. All right. So here's the stuff. Here's loading T1 and T2, subtracting, loading it again, subtracting. And then, um, let's see, and then here we load it again and subtract, all right? So let's just step through here and see what happens. We do an F10. Okay, I just loaded uh, T1 with uh, quad 2. Now I'm going to hit F10 again. I've loaded uh, T2 with quad 1. Then I'm going to subtract, and the result's going to go in T3. Let's go check things out. Uh, T1 has quad 2, T2 has quad 1. If I take 1 minus 2, I get quad 1. All right. Okay, that's good. So now we come down to here. Uh, we are going to put quad F into T1. And now we're going to put 0, 0, 1 into T2. And now I'm going to subtract uh, 1 from quad F, or quad F minus 1, which should give me F, 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 E. And then I execute. Let's go check out T3 now. Uh, there was T1, quad F. There was 1. I took 1 minus 2, which is quad F minus 1. It gives me an F, 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 E. All right. All right. Let's go back to here, and let's see what's the next one. Now what I'm going to do, um, I'll actually go back to the, the file here, the text segment. Okay. So now I'm going to load the biggest positive number I can load in there. Um, everything's a 1 except for the sign bit. So I've loaded uh, 7 F, 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 quad F into T1. And now I'm going to load 1 into T2, and now I'm going to take 1 minus 2. So I'm going to take 7FFF quad F, subtract 1 from it, which should give me 7FFF FFF E. All right, so we execute that. We just did a subtract. Let's go look at T3. And there you go. There's 7FFF quad F minus 1 is going to change that F to an E. And the answer is 7FFF FFF E. Okay. Now, we keep pressing F10 to step through our program here. Um, I am going to load T1 with quad 1, T2 with quad 2, but I'm going to subtract 1 minus 2. So I'm going to take quad 1 minus quad 2. Well, that's going to give me a negative number. 
So you could say, oh, well, that's just a negative quad one. But you got to remember the computer stores that stuff into two's complement. So let's see if we can figure out uh, one minus two. So we had one quad one minus quad two. Now you might think that's going to be a negative quad one, but you don't talk about a negative quad one. You got to put it in two's complement. So what you do on um, quad on this guy, the answer is a negative quad one. So what you do is you flip the bits on a um, quad one, which is going to give you a quad E, you add one to it, and then you get an F and all those zeros complemented to a one, and the answer is this guy. So this is the answer in two's complement. The most significant bit is set. Now if you flip all these bits here, what do you get? You get one, 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 zero, you add a one, you get one, 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 and that's the negative. All right, so that's the correct answer. Okay, so where are we at? Um, let's see, let's do another one here. What are we going to do? We're going to take 0, we're going to take 1 into T1, quad F into T2. And again, I'm going to take 1 minus quad F. All right, 1 minus quad F, that's going to give me a negative number. All right, so let's go look at our numbers. Here is 1. I'm going to subtract off this, and I get a negative number. You know, you can kind of think of 1 minus this gives you a negative um, F, 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 E. But then, of course, you got to flip it which gives you FFF001, and then you add 1, and you get a 2, and there's your 2's complement representation. Uh, let's convert it to uh, numbers. Let's see. Uh, let's do uh, decimal. Yeah, and there you go. You took 1 minus 65536, and you got a negative 653534. Go back to hex. Because right. yeah, that's a negative number. Flip the bits, add 1, and that's the negative value. Okay, so now we're going to come over to here, and now I'm going to take 1 and then quad F, quad F. So let's take 1. Uh, let's see, and there's 1 and quad F, and now I'm going to take, uh, uh, let's see, 1 minus 2, 3. So I'm going to take 1 minus quad F, quad F. Well, what's quad F, quad F? Quad F, quad F is um, negative 1. So I'm taking 1 minus a negative 1. What's 1 minus a negative 1? Well, that's 2. All right, let's go see what's in T3. Hey, there you go, 2. So it's a 1 minus this quantity right here. Okay. and uh, But that quantity is a negative 1. 1 minus a negative 1 is a positive 2. Works out. And let's see, what do we have down here on this one? We load um, quad F, quad F into T1. And then I load quad F, quad F, quad F, quad E. There's an E there. Into T2. And I take 1 minus 2. All right, so this guy's a negative 1. This guy's a negative 2. So now I have a negative 1 minus a negative 2, which is a negative 1 plus 2, which should be a positive 1. All right, so T3 should have a positive 1. And it does. We took a negative 1, we subtracted a negative 2, and we got a positive 1. Take these guys back to decimal. Negative 1, subtracting, or minus a negative 2, positive 2, gives you a 1. So yeah, if you're working with a 2's complement, yeah, it's kind of a neat little trick to switch back and forth between decimal and hex to try to interpret this. But yeah, you know, you flip all the bits, you get 0, you add 1, 1, so that's a negative 1. You flip all the bits down here, you get 1, you add 1, you get 2, so it's a negative 2. Negative 1, negative 2. And I think we're done. At that point, we load V0 with 10 immediate, and then we call syscall, which terminates our program. All right, well, hope you enjoyed that. That was the subtract instruction. It's the exact same thing. Uh, it's an R-type instruction. You take this argument minus this argument and put it in the destination. This is our source, our target, and our destination. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.